some Clark County residents fighting to fend off the city of Las Vegas from taking over their neighborhoods. Good evening. I'm Marie Mortera in for Reed Cowan and I'm Jim Snyder. Glad you're with us tonight. We're talking about small pockets of land that are now part of Clark County that the city wants to annex. It's our top story tonight at six as News 3's Nathan O'Neill explains out live. Some locals worry it could threaten their way of life. Well, I'm standing in one of the neighborhoods proposed for annexation near Decatur and Oakey. This is one of the oldest neighborhoods in town and it's seen the city of Las Vegas grow up all around it. When we built this house, there were three houses between us and Red Rock. Annette McCarthy's entire life is rooted in her Clark County home. Her family homesteaded the land and in 1962, they built this house. What's it been like watching Vegas grow around you? Horrible. <laughs> In this pocket of Clark County land near Oki and Decatur, there are no street lights, there are no sidewalks, and there is no sewage line. But for Annette, that doesn't matter. We like our life the way it is. It's been this way all the time, and I don't know what they have to change for, just to give it to the city. No, I don't think so. She's one of 4,000 people who live in pockets of Clark County that the city of Las Vegas wants to annex. At the very least, that would mean homeowners like Andrea Leibel could see their annual property taxes raised by a few hundred dollars. There's no need for it. Leave us alone. We're happy the way we are. We like the zoning. We like our county commissioners. It's an added expense we don't need. If enough property owners speak up, state law could put the city's annexation plan on hold, at least for another year. But folks like Annette just want a quiet life without all this hassle. I do wish they would consider the people that have lived here long enough that to give them what they want once in a while too. <laughs> And Clark County leaders have expressed their support for many of the residents who are opposed to this annexation. As for the city, they plan on holding a public hearing next week on this issue. We posted all the information on that on our website, news3lv.com. Reporting live, Nathan O'Neill, News 3. Nate, thank you.